Today, the Biden administration announced sanctions against some of the Mexican drug cartels and their leaders. The Biden administration seems to believe that will help with fentanyl flowing across the southern border. Although, so far, to be fair, sanctions haven't done much to stop fentanyl deaths here in America, something the Homeland Security Secretary will get asked about in hearings tomorrow that will probably go something like this. Many illegal aliens have died crossing illegally into the United States under Joe Biden's administration. I don't have that data. How many gotaways did CBP record in fiscal year 2023? I believe, um, Senator, that number is over 600,000. All right. And then out of that, the Biden administration's policies on the border will continue and we will go again. With that, Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito will be asking the questions tomorrow. Nice to see you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, without the Biden administration changing policies top down, does what happens at these hearings really change anything? Well, what we're doing is considering a supplemental that I think could have great impacts here. As you know, we're, it, it has Israel uh, support, uh, Ukrainian support, support for Taiwan, and really the fourth leg of that, or the fourth leg of that stool, if you have a four-legged stool, is a solid policy change to border policy. And I think that we can leverage that uh, to, to make some real changes in asylum and other things. One thing that's been brought up a lot is the issue as it relates to the Chinese that are coming across. Right. A hundredfold increase in the number of Chinese military age men that are coming across the border. Uh, we had Mark Green, chairman of the Homeland Security uh, Committee, on a couple of days ago talking about this. Take a listen. So there are actual members who were in the People's Liberation Army, the People's Liberation Air Force, and they are here in the United States, released into the United States. You have to think that this is a part of some plan or strategy. You'd be foolish not to at least consider that. All right. One thing that's happening at the border, though, is there are what are called special interest aliens, right. people who get more uh, scrutiny, shall we say, if you come across you're from Afghanistan, Syria, Egypt, Iran, Yemen, Lebanon, Iraq, for obvious reasons. China's not listed in that. No. Do we know why? I don't know why, but they should be. But I think it points to the bigger fact is we don't know who's coming. We don't know who's in this country. The vetting is not uh, thorough. You, they just roll you back, back into this country and say, come back in eight to 10 years for your asylum hearing. And I think if there's one thing we've learned when we see what's nobody's safe from the terrorist cells that are developing yeah. all around the country or around the world. You made a good point that this could, this, this could have meaningful policy change if, if this four-legged stool happens. Four-legged stools tend to be more, more stable. I like that. Um, here'd be my question. Does that mean that all of the answers we've gotten from the administration about the border and there's nothing they can do and on and on are complete hogwash because a meaningful policy change would change what's happening on the border? I think it is hogwash. And I think that's what's going to be the substance of a lot of questions to Secretary Mayorkas tomorrow morning. Why? Why have you not moved on this effectively? Look at what President Trump did. Remain in Mexico. The numbers went down. If you start turning over the asylum claims quicker, People stop coming because it's not open anymore. They can do this now. And Secretary Mayorkas knows that. I think this is a conscious policy by this administration mm. to have an open border. All right. What would be a legal open border, there is now a letter being circulated. I know your office got a copy um, from Dick Durbin, among others, um, that would allow for uh, it was Henry Rogers from The Daily Caller's reporting, that would allow special status to Palestinians. It would basically turn the United States into a refugee camp for Gazans. Uh, is that something that's going to happen, could happen? That will not happen. Okay. Here's what I think. I think that the region, the countries in the region that are sympathetic to, uh, more sympathetic to the Palestinians or what's going on in Gaza, should be able to come to the rescue here for those refugees. We have a refugee process, and that's the process I think that should be used. The special status is granted to some Ukrainians and some Afghans after, after we made that precipitous withdrawal and very poorly done at the same time. So, uh, no, I, I, I can't see this country uh, developing a policy that would include uh, a special status for Palestinians. No, there's some people fighting for it. Yep. Ma'am, thank right. you very much. Good it's to good you. to see you. Appreciate it.